Hi guys. Um, so today we're going to look at what an ERC20 token is, and then we're going to create our own ERC20 token, and then we're going to deploy our ERC20 token onto the Ethereum testnet. Um, so specifically the Gurley testnet. All right. So what is an Ethereum20? I mean, an ERC20 token. Essentially, an ERC20 token is just a token which has got specific functions set out by the ERC20 standard. So if we refer to this document over here. It just shows what the functions are that need to be present in an ERC20 token and then the events. So specifically, it needs to have a name function which returns the token's name, then a symbol function which returns the symbol token, I mean the token symbol, then the decimal, so how many decimal places the, tokens, the token will use, the total supply, so how many tokens there are in total, uh, the balance of, so how many tokens a specific account has, then a transfer function to transfer tokens from someone to someone else, transfer from, approve, and allowance. All right. So if our function has got all, if our token has got all of this, then it is an ERC20 token. Awesome. All right. Now let's go ahead and create our own ERC20 token. So we're going to go ahead and use Remix. So in your browser, you can just type Remix Ethereum and then we're going to use this one, remix.ethereum.org. All right. So Remix is essentially an Ethereum development environment um, where you can write your Solidity code and you can test it. Now, the cool thing with, um, with Remix is that it actually connects to a node, uh, so Ethereum node, meaning you can deploy a smart contract directly from Remix onto the Ethereum mainnet, which is pretty cool. All right. So we're going to go ahead and create a new file. So it's going to be the basic template and then the workspace name is going to be, I'm really obsessed with uh, Naruto, the anime. So we're going to go ahead and call this Itachi token. He is my favorite character from the series. Um, pretty much everyone's favorite character. All right. So the basic layout has already given us some contracts, some scripts um, and some tests. We're going to go ahead and just create a new one. So create new, and then we're going to call it Itachi token dot soul. Awesome. All right. So the first thing we need to do is write the license under which we will be deploying the smart contract. So you can write SPDX license identifier and then MIT. So MIT is an open source um, contract meaning anyone can use this code or edit it or whatever. All right. Then the next thing we're going to do is write the solidity, the solidity version. So if we go on the left here, <coughs> we'll see solidity compiler. And then this is the compiler version that we'll be using. So the latest one. So 0 0.8, 0 0.24. All right. So we're going to write pragma solidity um, 0 0.8.24. Awesome. All right. Now, remember those functions that we just described uh, that you need to add in order to be ERC20 compliant? The good news is, is that you don't actually need to write that yourself. So if we go to um, GitHub and then Open Zeppelin, Open Zeppelin actually has got an ERC20.soul file that we can just import into our function. Uh, so Open Zeppelin, they do security audits for smart contracts, and they pretty much provide us with a set number of or specific libraries that we can use in our own code. So we're going to go ahead and copy this URL, and then in Remix, we're going to write import, and then just the URL. Awesome. All right, so now we can start writing our actual contract. So we're going to write contract Itachi token, and then is ERC20. All right, so we need to write here is ERC20 because that pretty much imports the ERC20.soul file into our Itachi, toki, uh, Itachi token contract. Awesome. All right, so open brackets there. All right. So if we go into the Open, Ze open Zeppelin contract, then we can actually just scroll through and we'll see that they've got a constructor, which is something that gets, um, or certain 
inputs that you need to give upon deployment of the smart contract. So specifically the name of the token and the symbol. And then it's got all those functions which we described. So name, which returns the name, symbol, which returns the symbol, decimals, total supply, balance of, etc. Awesome. All right. So we have imported that and now we can write our constructor. So construct spelling constructor and then ERC20. And then over here we need to input the requirements, um, which is the name and the symbol. So our name is going to be Itachi token and the symbol is going to be ITT. Awesome. All right. So why don't we go ahead and actually deploy this smart contract and just make sure everything works here. So on our Solidity compiler, we're going to click compile. We're going to get a green tick here, which means everything is good. Then we're going to go to deploy. On the environment, we're just going to deploy onto a Remix virtual machine. Um, this is um, essentially just a local blockchain that runs on your PC. Uh, this allows you to test um, very quickly. Then they give us a certain number of accounts with Ethereum in them. This is obviously fake Ether. Um, all right. So under contract, click Itachi token. And then let's deploy it. Awesome. So we got the green tick. And here under deployed contracts, we can actually interact with our smart contract. So click down. Uh, let's have a look. So decimals is 18. Name is Itachi token and symbol is ITT. Great. All right. So that works. Let's go ahead and delete the smart contract and add a little bit of functionality here. So we're going to go ahead and mint some tokens. So I'm essentially going to mint myself. Um, let's call it a million tokens. So if we go to the erc20.sol file over here and go down to the mint function, to, all right, so function mint. So we can essentially mint tokens to the specified account and of a certain value, so a certain number of tokens. So over here, we're going to write underscore mint. And then the first one was the account. So we're just going to copy our first account here paste and then the next one is the number of tokens we want to mint now the thing with tokens is that i can't send someone point one of a token you can only send a full token so what they've done is they've essentially times the number of tokens that you want to mint by 18 decimals in this place so 18 zeros after however many you want um, that essentially gives the effect of being able to transfer decimals right i think that makes sense should make sense Let's check. All right, so we're going to go one, one, two, three, one, two, three, so a million, and then times 10 to the power of 18. Awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and compile this smart contract and then deploy it the same way we did earlier. All right, so our token deployed successfully. If we open here, Got the name, the symbol, and now let's check balance off. So let's copy our code, I mean, our address there, and then put it in the balance of, and this should be a million. Awesome. All right, so a million, and then 18 zeros thereafter. Great. Okay, so now we've successfully created an ERC20 token, and we've successfully deployed it onto our virtual machine. But now let's go ahead and deploy this smart contract onto the Gurley testnet, and then import the tokens into our MetaMask. So first thing that we need to do is actually change, let's, wait, yeah, is change the environment into which we want to deploy to. So we're going to go ahead and click on injected provider MetaMask. So this will essentially connect to your MetaMask account. And then it imports the account that you're currently active in. So for me, it is this account OX400. I have currently got some Gurley test ETH here. You will need that in order to deploy a smart contract to pay for the gas fees. Um, it's a very easy process. I'm going to leave a link um, for a faucet of test ETH. And all you need to do is just put in your address and then they will send you uh, test ETH free of charge. Awesome. All right. So we've got some test ETH. Our account has been pulled here, 0x400. 
and we've got a balance of 0 0.014 girly test ETH. All right, so let's go ahead and copy our account and then paste it into our mint function. All right, so we're gonna mint the tokens into this account and we're gonna mint a million tokens. All right, awesome. So let's go ahead and compile this code. All uh, tick, no issue. Injected MetaMask, the account is our account, and then we can go ahead and deploy the smart contract. So now it's gonna take longer, obviously, because, oh, hold on. Uh, first, we need to authorize the um, gas fees. So click confirm. All right, so now the smart contract is currently being deployed onto a block of the Gurley testnet um, blockchain. So if we click over here, so it went through successfully, so we can actually view this on Etherscan. So click view on Etherscan. All right, so if you just look here, there is a transaction hash, uh, the block that it was deployed to, and then the from, which is my account, and then two is the contract address. So if we just copy this and put it into Etherscan, then there's our smart contract. Awesome. It's Itachi token, ITT, the transaction hash, the block, and from, which is my account. So now the next thing we want to do is actually import the tokens into our MetaMask. So remember, we are able to do this because our token is ERC20 compliant. So open your MetaMask up and then go to tokens and then go to import tokens and then put the smart contract address and then it automatically picks up that it's, the symbol is ITT and then we can go to next and there is our token. So a thousand or a million ITT tokens. Awesome, so we can import them. This zero ITT was from literally 20 minutes ago when I was <laughs> taking this video and then I actually forgot to recompile the code uh, so the tokens weren't present. But there we go. That is essentially the entire process of creating an ERC20 token and then deploying it onto the Gurley testnet. Uh, you can also go ahead and deploy your token onto the actual Ethereum mainnet. Uh, that'll obviously just cost you real gas fees. All right, so there you have it. Um, if you gained any insight from this video, please consider giving it a subscribe. Awesome.